Welcome back to the channel. For this video, I want to, I need to correct an automation that broke. This is one of my favorite automations. This automation, it integrates my security system with my Nest thermostats. So whenever there's a window or a door open in my house, the, for more than five minutes, the Nest thermostats will turn off. Then when, one, when the windows are all closed and the doors are closed, the air conditioner is put back into auto mode. So this broke sometime around 0 0.96. Um, we're gonna fix it. Let's go. So this is the error I'm finding. I'm finding this climate set operation mode. If I look in my developer tools and we look at the log, that's exactly where I found it. I had opened this, I had put this implementation, this uh, automation in place way back in 2017. It's been working great ever since. It looks like this was a breaking change with 096. So if we look at those breaking change notes, we can see that there was some big changes made to the climate, uh, to the climate platform or that climate integration. So they changed a bunch of commands. You can no longer use that operations. You have to use set preset mode or set hold mode, set away mode. There's a couple of different ones. I went into my configuration.yaml just to verify that I did have all the nest and climate stuff uh, set correctly. So in that YAML, we have the nest platform, we have our client IDs, our secrets. So all of this looked correct. So the next logical place was to find the automation that actually called this incorrect service. Uh, I know for this one, it was in my alarm package. So if we bring up the alarm package, which is right about here, uh, this is where I this is where I detail all the windows, all the different sensors to know if they're open or closed. Everything is listed out, but way down at the bottom, this is where the automation is. And this is where we can see I was using that climate set operations mode, which this service has been deprecated. Uh, it's been changed over. So this is where we have to make all of our changes now to correct this automation. The easiest way to figure this out, I find, is to just go to the services uh, panel in developer tools. This will list out all the valid services that you have now based on the equipment that you have. So I have that set HVAC mode. Uh, when you click it, there's some sample data. This way you can see how to structure your command. It's a lot better. It used to be a lot harder, but now the only thing you really need to do is pick your service. So either in our case, we're going to do HVAC mode or preset mode and then choose your entity. The automation that I need actually has uh, turn on and turn off, which for what we want to do right now is just turn off the nest if it's been on for more than five minutes. So all I need to do is just go figure out what the entity ID is. So I'll look, I can see that it's climate dot downstairs. We have a client upstairs as well for the different nest thermostats, paste it in identity, choose it. The fact that it came up is sort of valid. Uh, I'm going to click call service. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go look at the thermostat. So we'll pull up the, Home Assistant, uh, we can take a look. So I do have uh, I do have some windows shown as open, but you can see that the thermostat itself is turned off. Nest represents it as idle, but it's perfect. It's turned off. When you turn it back on though, which I thought I would be able to use the turn on service command, it looks like it just defaults to heat. So this is a little bit of a problem because what I want to do is I want it to default back onto auto. So this is auto where you see the two, uh, you see sort of a, a lower threshold and an upper threshold where the heat, it's not what I need. Uh, so what I can do is I can just click properties. I can look at the operations and I can see that auto is an option. So it's auto, heat, cool, and off. And then for the presets, there's none away eco and away in eco. But for what I want to do here is I want to set it back to auto. So this makes this makes the whole process very easy. 
you can really figure out exactly what data to pass to the service commands just, so, just by sort of experimenting in the UI. What we can do is, again, we can just go into our services, physically click what we want. So in this case, I want to just validate everything. So I'm going to turn off the thermostat, verify it in the UI. It's off. I'm going to go back to developer tools and I'm going to choose our HVAC mode and I'm going to set it to auto. So we just need to, again, add in our entity and then we're going to make a change to the service data, which is basically this is the foundation for what we're going to build our YAML on. So we're going to set this to auto, which we know is one of a valid option. Click call service. Then when we go back to the UI, we can see the thermostats back exactly the way I want it in that auto mode. We'll just give it a refresh just to be thorough, but you can see it's still in the auto mode. So this is a perfect way to validate exactly what code we need to add to the YAML. So now I can just go back to my YAML, back to the actual code, and then just make the appropriate changes. So for this first one, we're just gonna have to change the service call to be climate turn off. We'll make that quick change. And since it's just the off, we don't need operation mode. So we can delete this because this particular service call only requires climate turn off and the entity ID, which the entity ID is perfect. The next thing we'll need to do is now turn it back on. So if the windows or doors have been open for five minutes, we turn off the HVAC system, and then as soon as someone closes it, right, so as soon as that condition is no longer true, we wanna turn that HVAC back on. So in this case, again, we'll go back to, we'll just go to our services, grab exactly what we need, which in our case, it's uh, not preset, but actually we're gonna do the HVAC mode. So set HVAC mode is what we need. With the entity ID and then the HVAC mode is the service data. So let's change, let's just grab this HVAC mode. This is the service data in the YAML and we're gonna change uh, basically where it says operations mode. We'll just change to HVAC mode. Auto is the same because that is the parameter we wanna give it. And then we wanna just grab that service call and change again. The set operations mode, we're gonna change over to set HVAC mode. This should be exactly what we need. So let me just save this. We're going to, I'm gonna just jump over into my home assistant. Whenever I make changes, so really whenever I make changes to any of my code, uh, before I really commit it or before I go too far into all the different changes, I like to just get onto my home assistant and run a quick validation check. Now, you can do this through the UI. There's, uh, you can check config through the UI. I have a little script that I just kind of run. It does two things. It validates it against the most recent Docker image. And then it also just sort of preps the files so that I can upload them to GitHub. So whenever you want to see my latest code, you can just go to GitHub. You can see all the changes. You can actually see all the different commits. So in this case, there'll be a commit associated with this particular change that I made for Nest, and you can see exactly the changes that I made. And it's it's as easy as sort of just, we're gonna do this. Uh, so this, this issue, this to-do is number 136. So if you go onto my GitHub and you go to issue 136, you'll see once I run this commit, right at the bottom, there's gonna be an entry just let this commit up. We're going to go back to the public GitHub page. I want to restart, but I'm just rest whenever I make good changes, I just like to kind of restart on the system. We'll hit refresh here. You can see right there on the bottom, there's our commit message. And then all the way to the right is the actual change. And if you click it, you can see the diff. So basically what the YAML looked like before and then what we changed it to after. I'll close this and thanks for watching.